Trail cams are the next best thing after nature documentaries. They unveil a whole new world in the wild. Check out this puma and this samba that steals the spotlight. But that's not all. These 20 rare species were caught on trail cam, 20 ocelot. There's only one confirmed ocelot in Arizona. Scientists arrived at this conclusion after several years of searching the forest. Well, they nicknamed the rare animal Lil Jefe. Even so, they did not capture it on camera. Eventually, Lil Jefe was captured on a trail camera in the Huachuca Mountains after months of trying. This is thanks to Jason Miller, a hobbyist wildlife videographer. He used motion-activated trail cameras to capture the medium-sized wildcat from differing angles on July 4th, 2023. It was truly an amazing sight to behold. Lil Jefe was first sighted over a decade ago, and experts believe it has been in Arizona his entire life. The animal hadn't even returned to Mexico for once to breed due to a physical barrier. Lil Jefe is one of the last ocelots in Arizona. Many of them were cut off by the construction of the border wall between the US and Mexico. This wall restricts the movement of animals between countries. This animal's presence generated a lot of public excitement and enthusiasm for wildlife. Hopefully they don't go extinct in Arizona. 19. Anatolian Leopard What happens when a trail camera captures an animal believed to have been extinct and suddenly shows up in public? You can guess. Wildlife enthusiasts become too excited about it. Trail cams in the mountains of Turkey captured a rare sight of a leopard species considered extinct for decades. The Anatolian Leopard was filmed around the mountain in the two different regions. The clip shows the animal walking through various mountain terrains. Most videos were filmed during the day, but one clip shows the elusive animal moving through tall grasses at night. Anatolian leopards are an endangered species. The last one is believed to have died in 1974. Since then, they have not been spotted. However, one suddenly showed up in the forest in 2019. Researchers have traced it to four regions in Turkey, However, little is known about the animal's population, distribution, and size. Anatolian leopards move frequently and can travel more than 15 miles a day. Turkish officials did not specify where this animal was seen or when the videos were taken. Experts say only 10 to 15 Anatolian leopards still live in the wild. These species are driven to extinction due to trophy hunting. Turkish officials promised to keep tracking the leopard until it finds more details. 18. Puma. This footage was captured in no other place but Brazil's rainforest. It shows a camera trap footage of two roaming puma. Pumas are solitary animals with a large range across North and South America. This expansive territory explains their names. Aside from humans, they have one of the largest ranges of any terrestrial mammal within the Western Hemisphere. The territory of an individual cat averages 30 to 125 square miles. These cats have a muscular and athletic build with sharp claws, large paws, and excellent jumping abilities. The pair were spotted within the proposed Araucaria Forest Reserve, where Rainforest Trust is working to protect them from endangerment. The Araucaria moist forests of Santa Catarina are a critical region within the Atlantic Forest. These forests have been degraded over the last 70 years from cattle grazing and agricultural expansion. Only about 3% is left in Brazil. 17. Pygmy Hippopotamus In Liberia, Rainforest Trust partner Wild Chimpanzee Foundation made a mind-blowing discovery. They captured footage of an endangered pygmy hippopotamus. This animal is similar to its larger relative. However, it differs in behavior due to special physical characteristics. They are smaller in size and spend less time in water. This smaller species is shy and elusive. The top layer of the pygmy hippopotamus's skin is smooth and thin to help it stay cool in a humid forest environment. Even so, its skin can dehydrate quickly in the sun. To ward off dehydration, the pygmy hippo's skin oozes out a pink fluid similar to sweat, which gives it a shiny, wet appearance. The liquid is also known as blood sweat. It helps to protect these animals' skin from sunburn. 16. Black Jaguar and Mountain Tapir When did you last see black jaguars and mountain tappers 
roaming the forests around you. These animals are slowly disappearing into oblivion. Little wonder the Ecuador Rainforest Trust partner Ecominga did something about them. The black jaguar is a mysterious animal with black fur and sports. These cats live in various habitats and their range extends into Central, North and South America. They are rarely seen or even caught on camera. Ecominga gave us a better view of their behavior and ecology. As for the endangered mountain tapir, it is the smallest of the tapir species. It lives in the Andes Mountains in Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. Like other tapir species, they swim, wallow in the mud or walk along rivers and streams. They have poor eyesight and use their sense of smell to sniff their way through the forest to find food or avoid danger. Researchers say there are fewer than 2,500 mountain tappers left in the wild. 15. Spirit Bear A Michigan trail cam captured one of the rarest images you'll ever see online. This camera spotted a white-colored black bear. According to a post shared by an Upper Peninsula trekking guide, the bear was seen running through the bait a hunter placed in a corner. Department of Natural Resources officials did not confirm that the spirit bear has white fur. However, images shared online showed it could be true. It's cool to see a large carnivore pop up on camera. Besides this animal, cinnamon, blonde and chocolate-colored bears have appeared on trail cams. Experts say this beer is around two years old. It was spotted in the western Upper Peninsula, where bears are most common. Black bears with white furs are not albinos or polar bears as many think. Instead, they result from a one in a million chance where both male and female parents that bred contained a recessive gene for white fur. This coincidence happens mostly in Canada, where a subspecies of American black bears live. Black bears with white fur are sometimes called spirit bears. 14. Black-naped pheasant pigeon A lot has been said about mammals. It's now time to check out some rare bird species. A trail camera in Papua New Guinea filmed an extremely rare and critically endangered black-naped pheasant pigeon. This bird is not only super rare, it is the first time it has been spotted since 1882. Thankfully, a search for lost birds team has been trying to find the bird. After months of touring the forest, they finally caught it on camera. How did they do this? They set up 12 cams on Mount Kilkaran, the highest mountain on Ferguson Island in Papua New Guinea. When they reached the mountain's western slope, the expedition team met hunters who claimed to have seen the rare bird. This revelation helped them set up eight more cameras in the places where hunters navigated them. In the end, one of those cameras filmed the elusive bird. Eventually, they found the bird in the final hours of the expedition. They were incredibly excited about the pleasant surprise. It was the first record of the board after 140 years. According to the team, the bird is extremely rare. Its estimated population is between 50 and 249 specimens. It is native only to Ferguson Island. The forest where it was found is difficult to access. It is the last stronghold for the black-naped pheasant pigeon on Ferguson. 13. Elk, Bobcat and Galloping Otters Did you know there are thousands of trail cameras in Wisconsin's forests, plains and pastures? These gadgets are silently waiting to capture an image of a passing elk, a curious bobcat or a pack of galloping otters. Luckily, millions of images have been captured thanks to the Snapshot Wisconsin program set up by the State Department of Natural Resources. Many of these images are blurry or show only an ear or tail at the edge of the frame. However, others reveal playful, anxious and heartwarming scenes. Humans rarely see these moments. This project has devoted fans and pictures from various sites. These images are widely shared across Facebook and Twitter. Snapshot Wisconsin has captured millions of wildlife photos since 2016. The program is a citizen science project that works by encouraging volunteers to place their cameras at strategic points. To date, tens of millions of photos have been captured by over 2,000 cameras nationwide. Given that the program is now widespread, it can capture images of vast ecosystems and uncover vast amounts of wildlife. 12. Moose 
Everyone agrees that you don't see moose daily, especially in Wisconsin. What if I tell you there's a way out of this? Well, the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources shared a photo of this rare species roaming around a wooded area. According to a post on the department's Facebook page, it was spotted in Wisconsin. The one featured in the picture was the first of its kind in 2023. Moose sightings are rare. Even when these animals are seen, the photos are blurred. Milwaukee's Fox 6 News reported that the moose was seen in Vilas County. The area is in the northern part of Wisconsin, bordering Michigan's Upper Peninsula. How then did they capture an image this clear? Like the animals in the last entry, thanks to Snapshot Wisconsin. This project provides data needed for wildlife management decision support. It also offers a unique opportunity for families, students, and individuals to get involved in monitoring the state's natural resources. 11. Pygmy Right Whale After approaching one of the world's most elusive creatures in shallows off the South Australian coast, five friends were overwhelmed. Initially, they thought it was a shark and were scared. But upon closer examination, they realized it was a three-meter pygmy right whale. This rare species has been sighted only 20 times. The video captured and shared on social media shows that the animal was three meters long and swimming close to them while they held their breath underwater. This encounter is one of five separate sightings of a juvenile pygmy right whale on the Eyre Peninsula. Scientists struggled to contain their excitement after these encounters. Little is known about these species, but observations have occurred only in the Southern Hemisphere. Studies show they belong to a family of baleen whales believed to have been extinct until 2012. Although this sighting has been welcomed, experts hope the situation is closely monitored. Another researcher reviewed the footage and noted two scratches on the whale's back. A boat strike most likely caused the injury. 10. Bobcat On a late winter morning, a bobcat passed in broad daylight, but no one saw it. Luckily, a trail camera was installed by the Chippewa Watershed Conservancy. While the bobcats may not be so rare, they're rarely found in Michigan, especially during the day. Anyone who sees a bobcat in the area considers themselves lucky. Bobcats are sensitive animals, especially to humans. The image is one of three bobcat pictures captured since the CWC purchased several trail cameras for its project. This image captured around 11 a.m. in the Audubon Woods Preserve is one of the best so far because of the lighting. The preserve is 40 acres and 100% wooded. It is good for birding, but only a few activities exist. This is precisely the kind of environment bobcats prefer. They require food and cover like any other animal. In most cases, they are found along rivers or drainage ditches. Although bobcats move during the day, they are mostly nocturnal animals. They are shy and not big, so they stay away from people. 9. Clouded Leopard these three clouded leopards operated under the cover of darkness. The predators walked through a forest in Thailand, believing no one was watching them. These elusive creatures were filmed on a Tao Ang Ru Nai wildlife sanctuary, a trail cam, at about 2 a.m. that day. Wildlife officials immediately identified them as a family of clouded leopards. It was the first sighted in the area. The first video footage shows three clouded leopards walking past the trail camera. The felines passed individually, with one appearing as the other vanished into the darkness. The second one, filmed one minute later, shows the backside of one of the animals. Its eyes seem to glow in the darkness. The second leopard looked around before walking towards the camera. Leopards are named for their dusky gray coats. They are an endangered species of medium-sized cats living in Southeast Asia. These predators hide in the trees during the day and hunt at night. They are solitary and secretive. Only about 10,000 clouded leopards are left in the wild. Their numbers diminished thanks to deforestation and poaching. 8. Cross River Gorillas This clip is arguably the first of a group of rare cross river gorillas. It shows the mother animal around her babies. It was reportedly captured in Nigeria's MB Mountains. The subspecies were once known to be extinct even after scientists tried to protect what was left. Today, only about 300 cross river gorillas are alive in the isolated mountainous region in Nigeria and Cameroon. The Wildlife Conservation Society in the area is doing its best to protect what is left of these gorillas. It was exciting to see that a few of them are still in the wild. Only little is known about this animal, especially with regard to reproduction. Nearly 50 cameras were set up in 2012 to film these gorillas, and it paid off. Cross River gorillas are notoriously difficult to capture on camera. They probably sense that something is watching them from a distance and disappear into the wild. They're also extremely 
extremely shy of humans. 7. Wild Cougar This next video footage is thanks to Eli Schaefer. Like other researchers, he set up a trail cam to capture animal movement worldwide. One day, his camera captured a strange big cat. He looked closely and realized it was real. Eli's heart raced as he watched the clip. It was a 10-second video captured in Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The footage showed a wild cougar attack and kill a small deer along a wildlife trail within the Kuinor Peninsula forest. When he retrieved the camera, he didn't think they were big cats in the woods. However, he was shocked when he scanned through the footage. The clip showed the big cat dragging the deer carcass into the woods. It effortlessly pulled it over a fallen tree with a couple of flicks of the species' signature long tail. Seeing that wild cougars still operated in the area was a relief. 6. Bearded Pig This mysterious clip was filmed somewhere in Bintulu, Sarawak, Malaysia. Bearded pigs are not easy to come by, but when you find one, you can't help but make noise about it. This species is known for its prominent beard. It lives in Southeast Asia, Borneo, Sumatra, and the Malay Peninsula. It has the slimmest torso and longest head of all living pigs. It boasts two pairs of warts on the face. The first is covered by the beard hair, thin whiskers, and a two-road tail tuft. This animal has a dark brown gray coat with a distinctive white beard on the face. It has small eyes, long ears, and a well-developed sense of hearing. The snout is prominent, and the sense of smell is well-developed. For the majority of the year, bearded pigs live in one location in a stable family group. They are active during the day, except during migration, when they become nocturnal. It's fairly easy to capture them on trail cameras because they travel on the same route and at the same time of the year. All you need to do is find the root. 5. African Buffalo As the name implies, the African Buffalo resides in Africa. These species are unpredictable and dangerous to humans. This explains why they have not been domesticated unlike their Asian counterparts. The African Buffalo is one of the most successful gazers in Africa. They live in floodplains, swamps, and mopane grasslands and forests. They prefer areas with dense cover like thickets and reeds. Herds have also been found in grassland and woodland. Although this animal is not demanded, it requires enough water daily. Besides humans, the African buffalo have a few predators against which they defend themselves. Lions kill and eat buffaloes regularly, but bringing a single one down takes multiple lions. Several incidents have occurred where a lone adult male successfully brought down an African buffalo. 4. Taken. This taken was sighted somewhere in China. This rare species is one of the largest of the goat antelopes. It is short and has stocky legs supported on large two-toed hooves. Their large head is made more distinctive by the arched Roman nose. Both sexes bear stout horns, capable of reaching 64 centimeters long and are ridged at the base. Their long, shaggy coat is light with dark stripes on the back. Scientists say there are about four subspecies of taken. Each one shows a variation in coat color. Rather than localized scent glands, the taken has an oily, strong-smelling substance secreted over the whole body. Takins are found in forested valleys, grass-covered alpine zones, rocky areas, and altitudes of 1,000 and 4,500 meters above sea level. This species lives in large herds of up to 300 individuals during summer and up to 20 members during winter. Older males are solitary and spend only the mating month with a group. Takins are slow-moving animals capable of leaping nimbly from rock to rock on challenging slopes. They spend most of their day in thick vegetation, but emerge when it's time to eat. When in danger, an individual warns other members with a coughing sound. 3. Cerro this animal was also filmed in China. It belongs to a group known as goat antelopes. But then, it is a small-bodied animal with dark upper parts varying in color. Their hair is long and coarse with a long white, brown, and black mane on the neck. Males and females have similar appearances, with both having a snout and curved horns. Their long ears are narrow and pointed, while their face has hair scent glands. The Ciro is generally a solitary animal, but sometimes it moves in groups of up to seven seven individuals. Each animal lives in a small area marked with dung heaps, scents, and trails. This small area provides all its needs like shoots, leaves, and grass, which it feeds on. This home range is guarded against any intruding predator. They use their dagger-like horns to protect themselves. Although Ciro's are less specialized for climbing rugged mountains, they function well in climbing slopes and can swim. 2. Sun Bear 
Unlike other bear species, sun bears are rare, even in Khao Yai National Park, where they're often seen. This unique species is the smallest of the world's eight living bear species. It boasts short and sleek fur, usually black, gray, or reddish brown. Almost every sun bear has a distinct chest patch. It has a broad muzzle that is relatively short and a large head, which gives it a bear-like appearance. Its most outstanding features are its rounded ears, fleshy forehead, and extremely long tongue. The sun bear is a good climber with its feet turned inward and curved claws. Its feet are large compared to its body size. This feature helps it dig into dead wood, searching for insects. The Malayan sun bears on Borneo are the smallest of its kind. They live in the dense Southeast Asian tropical forests. Sun bears are generally active at night and sleep or sunbathe in trees from 2 to 7 meters. This bear species does not hibernate because they live in tropical areas and their food sources are present all year round. 1. Sambar and lastly is this rare animal called sambar. Sambar is native to southern and southeast Asia. This animal has fascinated researchers for a while. Little wonder they're setting up random cameras to film them. Sambar is also used to refer to the Philippine deer. It sometimes reaches 40 to 60 inches at the shoulder and may weigh as much as 1,200 pounds. The coat is dark brown with chestnut marks on the underparts and rump. Some specimens' antlers exceed 40 inches. They have a small and dense mane. The sambar inhabits southern Asia, mainland Southeast Asia, southern China, Taiwan, and Borneo in Indonesia. Sambars love to congregate in large herds in woodlands. They feed on foliage, grasses, fruits, and water plants. They are rarely far from water and are hardy. You can visit northern Thailand and eastern Taiwan to get a clearer picture of them. Sambars prefer the dense cover of deciduous shrubs and grasses for cover. They have remarkable bipedalism as stags will stand and mark tree branches above them with their antlers. Sambars sometimes vocalize like dogs. Has your trail camera ever captured a strange animal? Was it worth the stress? Please share your thoughts in the comments below.